Hey yo, what's going on? Bowman 1951 here. I always like to do these grading prep videos more so just to like have a historical record online of where my material came from. I like to talk about it a little bit. This is gonna be my first time ever sending off to SGC and I think most of these are gonna make the cutout here. I'm gonna do one more look-see at them all. We got a couple piles here, just a few different sports. Uh, but mainly to just go over uh, each and every one of these cards, kind of show you where I'm coming from in terms of what I'm grading right now. I do have two current orders out with Dustin Bellinger at PSA awaiting uh, arrival. And I'm curious because I think the last one went out uh, two months ago now, somewhere around there, maybe, maybe a little shorter than that, but the one from early 2020 is not back yet. So I'd like to see if we actually get back some of these cards before those PSA come back, because SGC has a fairly good turnaround time of about 30 days right now. I've heard that's slowing down a bit because a lot of people did switch to them. And uh, I'm not a big fan of BGS, but I do like the look of the SGC labels. I only own one SGC right card right now, and it's a vintage card. So uh, yes, they do very well with the modern cards. I don't know why people haven't been using them for the longest time now. Very reputable, uh, at least I think so, in terms of being on par with PSA, if not even more reputable uh, than PSA at this point with all the scandal that came out last year. So without further ado, let's just get into some of these cards and we will start out with the football. All right, so I believe this is right around 50 cards in total. That Jordan Alvarez is sitting out there on the right because I do have a stack of those involved here as well. I've already got about 20 out to PSA and another 10 to 15 maybe here. So we're not going to go through all those. That is just one of many here in this order. Let's get right into, I believe, some football and then some basketball right after that. So this is a Drew Brees Prism. It's going to be from 2017. That is the holo. Got a little Phoenix here. I've done very well on my Phoenix from Brady. Um, I'm not going to be able to add these to my PSA registry. I'm sort of backing away from registries as well. So SGC is their own coming. I don't think it's all that important. It's just a, a measuring contest for me at this point. It just makes no sense. Uh, select there from Brady. Just saw that was going up in value. And uh, I dug deep into my prior you know, PC for some more Brady's and found this Chrome 2003 wrap up there that's uh increasing in value steadily this very early bowman chrome i found that too this is going to be a 2004 if you've got old chrome cards from brady and i say old uh, mainly from like 02 to 04 there's nothing that exists before that other than the bowman chrome rookie moving on to some jared stidham's this is the base prism rookie card the heir apparent, if you're not familiar with what's going on in New England, I think he will be taking over for Brady for quite some time. Ready rookie paper Dunross. And this nice Phoenix here. This is going to be numbered out of 35. So this could be a big card in the future if he does pretty well. One random hockey card here. This is a second year Gretzky Tops. All-star card, you will notice this is, uh, like I said, the tops. They blacked out all the names there, kind of like as a scratch-off, which was a, a silly thing to do, unfortunately. Uh, it's not the best centered. I'm expecting maybe around a 7 on this card, but it was pack-pulled. I opened some 40-year-old packs on my birthday, so this one is from 1980. And I uh, just wanted to see what a grade at SGC. It's a good card to, to have holstered, especially when you pack-pull it. I think this is a second year Kobe Tops. Looked fairly well centered there. Not perfectly, but um, this one came off of Com C. Getting to some biggies now for basketball that I recently ripped. This Optic Zion Williamson. A John Morant. Another John ja NBA debut. This was from Mosaic. Dug into the dollar boxes. Moving on to some baseball now. So we're done with the football and basketball. And this card has gone up considerably in value. I may have bought this a little over a year ago. Like I said, in a dollar box. And it uh, looks like it'd be in pretty good shape. So let's see what happens there. 
old trouts going through my PC here as well. Gold Bowman from second year. I think this is 2012. Another from 2012. This is a paper Bowman. Mike Trouty. Maybe a 12. Something like that. Not too concerned with it right now. Paper Rookie Cup. Trouty. Looking good there. Oops. Yeah, that, sorry. Yeah, we'll go to the Chrome. This is just a duplicate I was going to show, but we can hold off on that one. Uh, this is like a 2016, I believe. Next up is going to be some very recent rookie cards out of the baseball. Any of these pack pulled, whether they be rookie card explosion boxes. Um, 2018 Tops update I've been sitting on. This was a rookie card explosion uh, box, one of my best ever. Base Mookie Betts. Recently packed pulled. Glaber out of 18 updates. Austin Meadows, same thing. Hate the horizontal, but that is a card that's going up in value. Now, this one I think is still on the fence. I don't know how well these die cuts are going to do uh, looking like that, but I may just still try that Vladdy out. Been opening up a lot of Series 2 from 2019 as well. We've got two Eloy bases here. This Black Devers out of, uh, I think, 18 update. Same with the uh, Otani. Uh, on the fence, maybe, with the Soto insert. Here's one of my favorite cards out of the last couple years. This short print of Acuna Jr. with the Rookie Cup. Flash in the symbol there. I love that card. Uh, this Bichette. Pack pulled out of a hobby box with the extra pack. That's the silver. Andujar. Tops Chrome. There's a Lux. Uh, 2020 Tops. Robles out of 18 Chrome. This is a very hot card right now. The base out of 18 Series 1 Tops for Devers. PD. Tatis out of the same couple packs from S2. The Bichette insert from Turkey Red. Vladdy, NNO, pack pull just very recently. That was a ton of fun to find that. Same with this one, 18 update. Soto insert, looking really nice there. And bam, the big boy here, the Acuna, to end it. I didn't really mean to end cards overall for this order. I just meant that this stack right here, is going to be all Jordan Alvarez. So that ends it in terms of anybody else other than Jordan. But we're not going to go through all these. As I mentioned before, you got the blue uh, insert there from... I don't think these are numbered. They are not. Chrome Turkey Red. Very tough to find. The Paper White uh, 85 insert. Really big card here. This is numbered out of 199. There we go. Autograph of Jordan. Probably my favorite card in my collection right now. And we've got all those 2020 bases to go out. Roughly 10 or so. All made the cut. To head off to SGC. Looking for maybe a pristine in there. We'll see. Pretty excited to send off cards to a new grading company i like i said i've never used bgs i've been strictly psa all along but they're starting to play second fiddle in my mind um i think i'll still grade with them uh maybe it'll come down to like 50 50 sgc and 50 50 psa i don't know i am i hate their turnaround times right now let's see what sgc can do let's see if they can be you know like this up and comer in terms of just People even looking for them on eBay. When I go in to search for a graded card, I'm usually typing in like PSA 10, then the card I'm looking for. And even I catch myself not looking at SGC cards when I really should, uh, especially if I want to start adding them to my collection. You'll see the return grades from this order. Hopefully, uh, you know, like late July, if we can get it back by then. But I uh, really appreciate you tuning in to check out all the cards going out for grading. It'll be fun to reveal those here on camera in the same exact spot. We will see you at the next video, Bowman 1951. Out!